M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. First of all, big thank you to Simon the Wizard for providing all these download links for the CB or QYT CB58. Uh, they're all here on the side. Now, right now we're just looking at software. There is a manual here and there's a couple of modifications that we're gonna look into. Uh, but first of all, let's just show you the software. Now I've managed to use pro a programming cable from another radio, added an adapter just to the right here. Uh, that just made the micro USB B port, you know, go to mic to, to USB mini B, if you know what I mean. And if we go to the right click here, device manager, go to ports, you'll see that the driver that I'm actually using is called a USB enhanced serial 343, but it works. I have ordered the original cable, they're only about £10, but I don't want to wait two weeks. I got mine from AliExpress. Um, so just want to show you this programming software in action really so uh, let's just check it out here move that across so all we did was go to set setcom like so and then choose our com port which is com2 and then we clicked confirm on that section then we read from the radio so we go program, read data from the radio and then click the OK button. And you'll see the radio says PC, as you can see. PC read, it's quite fast actually. Now there is a way of modifying the radio so it will go on to the 28 megahertz handband, which I'm gonna do in a separate video and I'm gonna be copying the instructions from Simon the Wizard and Tech Minds, Matt from Tech Minds, who's got an excellent, in my opinion, the best channel. Um, and I'll be using that as a guide, so thank you very much, Matt. But today we're just gonna show you the basics of this programming software. And, you know, I, I will say that I really, do, I really do like this CB. As you can see now, it's showing the channels, but we can show frequencies and we'll change that over in a sec. I think for, you know, I just think it's a real fun CB. There aren't many color screen CBs out there. It can definitely do the four, the four watts. It covers all the, all the European bands and a lot more and the hand bands once converted. Now you've got to be really careful converting this and that's for a separate video. So right now, what we're actually seeing is if we go into the separate channel here and we're in EU mode and we can, we can change, it's just okay that a minute. Reading data is finished. We can change it to between the bands, you know, we can go to the, there was a UK listing there earlier, but at the moment it's saying EU. Not sure why it's not showing UK, although there is a U there, look. But anyway, let's just go through what we can see. Uh, so EU, and if you look at the different frequencies, we we'll just tap that there. And these are some of the settings that you can change per channel by the looks of it. So scan, you can add it to your scan. Tone squelch, it does have RDCT as well, TDCT. So it looks like you could probably use it on a repeater. I haven't seen how you can do a shift at the moment, but maybe someone can tell me. High cut, busy, noise blanker, AM, FM, RB tone, DTMF as well, EOT. So that's the settings that you're getting per channel. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's go to FM and just see if the settings change like so, and then we just open up one of these channels by double clicking this window here. Uh, no, they look like the same settings. Channel EU group, okay. So that's everything in that window. If we go file, we can open a file, we can save, and that it, I'm gonna definitely save now to my desktop before I try the mod out. I've created a file called CB58, so desktop, go to the original, file here because if we mess it up we've got something to, to reload um, so we'll go to ABC CB58 there it is there okay let's just go save and I'll call it original original so I don't know if you'll say you're actually changing the firmware when you make the changes I think you're actually changing the just you're just sending different frequencies via this software to the radio after you've doctored the actual software as far as i can see with this hex program that matt uses that matt used which i will find so let's go to set language see what that is english yeah and what else have we got and chinese 
Okay, confirm. Um, we'll go to, what does set initialization mean? Ah, I'm not gonna do it, but it says all data will be clear, so I'm gonna cancel that. View toolbar status bar, there's a tree view there as well. Mm. Window cascade holy, and then you've got help. Let's click that. And it's just telling me that I've got version one. Drinking nice cups of tea, yeah? All right, model information. There you go. Frequency, CB, HF, HAM. Hmm. If I go confirm and click OK, yeah, and I write that to the radio, because I'd rather um, write to transceiver. I'd rather have the HAM bands. The frequency is different. The difference of frequency is too much can be used mutually. Yeah, so you do have to sort of go in because these have been, well, I did just reboot then, <laughs> but I don't think anything went to the transceiver or did it. Let me just go to put it into frequency mode. It does say that if I go model information, it's now saying that I'm on the ham band. What's the other one I could have selected? Ham, HF, that's 25 to 30. That's really, that's the one we want, isn't it? Click OK. Um, and I uh, look, it's literally just showing one frequency. So I don't think we can do it basically, but it's still fun trying. Yeah, and looking at the radio is it is still showing that it's just the the UKC or the EUCB band. So I better just leave that where it was. So what I'll do is I just close it down and not save the changes. Uh, so model model information. Then we just go back to CB. So before the radio does have a flat battery, I'm just going to confirm. What I'm going to do is close it down. Reopen it with that and then read from the radio. There you go. Let's just set the com set com See if it's yeah, it still knows it's number two and then we're gonna go read Read data from radio Click OK and there it's reading as it was just now you can see my power is very low So I'm gonna have to stop now, but I think I've showed you the the basics and then we'll have a little play. So what I'll do before I start messing around with changing the hex program, I'll fully cho program, uh, sorry, charge these batteries. They don't, to answer you with the color screen, they're not lasting very long with those batteries in the case. You're lucky if you get an hour out of it. And I don't think I've even got that. And um, so that's why I recommend, in the UK, I'd get it from Rugby Radios because uh, they've got them in stock. They've got all the bits you need. That's why I recommend. So we'll have a quick look a few more settings before my battery goes flat. We're going to go file as well, save as. We're going to go to desktop, A, B, C, B, there it is there. I'll just go straight over the top of it and go save over the original. I might have to delete it and then go in here, delete the original, delete. It's not gonna let me, but I'll play around afterwards, not a problem. Let's just quickly show you other things that you can do. Program, you've got function, Roger Beep. You've got, ooh, look at this, for the Roger Beep. Actually, I've seen this kind of window before for the Roger Beep. Very nice. Um, DTMF, there you are. Some repeaters like DTMF, NC, not sure what NC is, anyone know what NC is, ENCODE, uh, and let's have a look what else, local message, sales code, frequency, it beeped when we went into this, maintenance, serial number, hmm. 26 to 27 megs is what has come out of the factory. So yeah, all very interesting. It's nice, it's fun playing. I didn't have to pay for the cable at the moment, although I do plan to get a cable. It looks 
the screen actually looks better in real life than how you're seeing it with this sort of glare. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Lots more to learn about the CB58. And they're about, if you can get them delivered with the battery case for about £85. But if you want the drop-in charger, the lithium battery, which is I, I feel that you need, you've got to pay more like 130 140 Bye for now, 73.